welcome, welcome to Lifestyle TV. We're here in um, Santo Domingo, and we're here with this uh, young brother. What's your name, man? Dwayne Thompson. Dwayne Thompson. Uh, nice to meet you, Dwayne. Um, why did you leave uh, the, uh, the United States? I left the United States because of racism, corruption of court, and, and a cover up of child abuse on my own child that I couldn't do anything about. And I almost, they wanted me to snap, which I didn't. Because if I would have did that, then they would have had a reason to keep me from my child. Right now, there's still no reason, and my child is still suffering because of what they did in, uh, in the corrupted courts. And uh, even the mayor of Pittsburgh was a, was a witness to racial discrimination, child abuse cover-up, and now he's the mayor. He was a, he was a uh, state representative when he knew all this information. He was supposed to get the judge and all them for being corrupt. And he said, if they, if, they, uh, if, if I do this, they're just going to get rid of me. So I said, that makes you a house nigger. I said, you know what a house nigger is? That's a person that covers up racism and everything. I said, now nah, you just told me all these months you've been helping me, you really ain't been doing nothing because you knew if, they, if you did something, they would just get rid of you. I said, they must gonna try to make you the mayor or something so you can keep on doing this. And that's exactly what happened to him. His name is Ed Ganey. Mayor Ed Ganey is the corrupted official of being a mayor. I mean, it's, it's a sad thing because see, when I beat the judge in, in family court, I had to go to superior court. When I finally beat the judge in her own game when she was keeping me from my child, when I beat her, Superior Court actually said I won, and then they said I was in jail. I've never been to jail in my life, but your paperwork says I was in jail. Wow. And I showed that to people, and they're like, what, this, this is illegal. I said, of course it is, but it's racism. Cover up of everything. They covered up child abuse. They covered up racial discrimination on me, the father, who did nothing. Three wars for this country did nothing. They did nothing but ruin my life. And almost made me start ruining theirs, but I didn't. I left the country and I gave them to God Almighty, which gives earth life. The son of Almighty God, which gives earth life. That's who I gave them to. So now all my ancient ancestors' spirits can get them, not me. But why do you feel the United States is a racist country? Because ever since when Obama was in office, a lot of people of color, they didn't report bad corruption of racism like they was during the days of uh, NWA and Rodney King being big down. They was more together then, but once we had a black president, so-called black president, American people of color just bowed down to whatever happened. And just, oh, we got a black president, we can't say nothing. And that's exactly what happened. For them eight years, racism got stronger than it's ever been, and nobody said nothing about it. But then as soon as Trump got in office, they started complaining again. It was too late. It's already been done. They put all the kids in jail for lies. Now check this out. People need to see this. All the black people that's been in jail for, for marijuana, their lives are already ruined. It's already done. They couldn't get jobs. They, they had to go through crime and everything because of it. Now they're making it legal but after they destroyed all these black people's lives. Now they're making it legal for all the white people to still do it. Now they can smoke marijuana and the black people's lives have been ruined. They can take all their places because they're not here. Wow. That's, that's, uh, so how do you think we could uh, overcome uh, racism and um, the first all thing, the corruption? The first thing about racism, corruption. And, and I have to say this, and I hope that people can get it, the first thing about racism is when you can get somebody to believe, when you can get somebody to believe over what they really truly know, they can never break out of it until they break out of belief. And a lot of people want to make their belief the truth, especially after they believe for a long time a lie. That's why a lot of people that are married, they believe that their, their spouse was faithful, and then all of a sudden, after years, they think, oh my God, their spouse wasn't faithful all these years. But they knew, but they believed and believed and kept that belief. They, America has this belief thing so strong that it's over what they know. Like everybody knows the Almighty Son takes care of Earth, but they don't want to believe that. But see, you can't know what you believe and you can't believe what you know. You can only believe what you don't know. Once you know it, it's no longer belief. That's why nobody can lie to me no more. I know the sun gives me life. I know the sun can't be killed by no man. Okay. There's no man I can put over the sun, my brother. And every Bible says the sun is God. Psalm 84, verse 11. Christian Bible. Psalm 84, verse 12. Catholic Bible. It says the sun is God. But why ain't that preached in the church? I don't know. Well, I do know. <laughs> so, what do you what do you feel about the Bible? Is it uh, written by, by man or is it... Is it really the, uh, the words be, of God? We have to be a smart enough race to understand mm -hmm. that no God wrote a book. The sun doesn't talk to nobody. The sun shows you what it does. Mm -hmm. It shows you that, and there's no such thing as night. That's another thing that makes us really ignorant. Because there's no such thing as night. When the earth turns around, this is us in the daytime, and this is us at nighttime. It's a shadow. 
but wow. the moon is out there in the light. So if you go out there in the light to the moon, you can't have a lit up moon with a dark sky because you're not in the shadow of the planet no more. Wow. That's another reason why they've never been to the moon. Common sense. Great analogy. They was walking on the moon like we look at it from our shadow of the planet. But when you get out to the moon, you can't have the earth lit up and the sky be dark. Look at it. <laughs> it's impossible. That's why when they sent that little probe, the fake probe to Mars, they put it on there, yeah, we're in Mars, and, but it made it like this. They didn't do it like they did the moon because everybody would know the truth. That's they it. knew that it had to light up the far sky, so it's like, <laughs> yeah. it's well, a shame, man. You, uh, we're most ignorant, our race is the most ignorant race on the planet. As a matter of fact, put this on your show. This proves, this proves about religion right here. Mm -hmm. This is why. Yes, 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 this is good. I got you, bro. I got it right here in my phone. This is why, this is the reason why. Can you film that? Uh, uh, let me see if I could uh, zoom in. And then take a photo of it, so they can blow it up. We'll take a photo of it after the, the yeah, Okay, I'll put a photo. Everybody needs to read this. Everybody of color needs to read this. This is a document from Parliament. From Lord McCrawley. Mm -hmm. What he's saying is, you ha they found out that when they came to Africa, you know, even when they came to America, they thought America was Africa because it was full of people my color. The original Indians were darker than me, but they don't want us to know that because they write their own history books. The last of the Indians had been raped and slaughtered by the white man so bad that they became red with straight hair. The original Indians didn't have straight hair. They're us. They don't even know it because they've separated us and separated us with these lies. In, their, in the history books to keep us from knowing who we are. Wow. Just like right now, everybody knows that that if you take the blackest man and the blackest woman and put them in the mountains for thousands of years, they're gonna be white. If they lived in caves, they're gonna be white. These white, white people are us. They just been living in caves so long they lost their pigmentation. Wow. And they had to eat meat to survive. They, we shouldn't eat meat. They're forcing us to eat this meat now, thinking it's the right thing to do because they have to have it because their culture has created that in them. They had, they had to eat meat. They couldn't get vegetables and fruit because they had nowhere to grow them. Since they've been conquering the world, they've been conquering us. This is some strong knowledge, man. It's just truth. Wow. Look at it. Look at it. Your body's not meant to have meat go through your system. Mm. You can eat fish. That's good for you. That's why I try to eat nothing that walked the earth. If it walked the earth, I don't want to eat it. Mm. But God has given us all the fruit and vegetables that heal our body. There's nothing that heals our body from me. So why would you eat it? See, I, I me, I, I my doctors they tell always. They you need iron. They tell, they'll tell you these. You gotta, you can't believe what they tell you. That's the problem. Yeah. Because what they tell you is mostly lies. My doctors always told me not to eat red meat. Only, uh, uh. Think, yo, my brother, it even spins the earth around. So it gets all the sunlight. But we ignore it. But you always around here, or, uh, uh, or I just live in, for a few in Marina Bay. For oh. now. How, how far is that from here? The corner down here. Oh, okay. White building. We got one big white building here, and the other one here. I mean, that's it. Mm -hmm. 